Hello everyone, welcome back to Kraken Packs. JB here again. And here we have the finale of our case of 2324 Upper Deck Extended. First three parts are online. Go watch those if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, we're going to try and get through these three boxes as quick as we can. Since you've seen a lot of this product by now. So going into these last three boxes here, I'm still missing four young guns and three uh, first round draft picks. Of course, Connor Bedard is the notable one that I'm missing out of that list. So hopefully we can find all of those, but especially Bedard in these last three boxes. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to do a quick recap of everything we've got in the case. Everything notable we've got in the case anyway. Uh, okay, we're starting off here with Silver Skates. Igor Shesterkin. we got a Seeing Red. Zach Hyman. And a Georgie e. Merkulov. So that is one of the young guns I was missing. So we're down to three young guns at this point. Really love to see one of the special things in these last three boxes. An acetate young gun, a uh, red outburst or a gold outburst would obviously be incredible. We have a Nikolai Ehlers black diamond a brock faber young gun retro and a jamie ben canvas we've got a ud3 simon edvinson that's one of the other first round draft picks i'm missing and a Leo Carlson outburst first round draft pick. That's actually pretty good. Finally hitting one of these parallels in a in a name that matters. Oh, and there you go. Simon Edmondson first round draft pick. So I was missing that as well. Hopefully just this whole box is right in the collation sequence of the ones that I'm missing. We got a Silver Skates, JG Pajo. No, that's Johnny Goudreau. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, seeing Red, Jesper Bratt. And our second Young Gun checklist. We've got a black diamond, Mackie Samuskevich. There's a Connor Bedard Young Gun Retro. Give this guy an easel too. Like I said, not a huge fan of the Young Gun Retros, but Connor Bedard will uh, get special consideration. Pierre Luc Dubois Canvas. So this already has been, well, yeah, no, I think it's fair to say between the outburst Leo Carlson and the Young Gun Retro Bedard, this has been the best box already of the 10 that we've opened so far. We've got a UD3, uh, Logan Cooley, and there's a Logan Cooley Hall of View right behind it. And a John Beecher first round draft pick. So that is not one I was missing. We've got another gold silver skates, which is funny every time I say it. Matty Veneers. We've got a Seeing Red, Philip Forsberg, and an Alex Ovechkin, 
Retro base. We got a UV three of Adam Fantilli. We got an Isaac Rosen young gun, another duplicate, and a Jordan Harris canvas. Nice little blur effect on that one. Don't mind that at all. We got through our young guns pretty quick. Should be one more, but we got through our the majority of our young guns pretty quick in this box. No Dazzler yet. No Acetate yet. Here is a Matt Murray hollow view. A Mitch Marner beehive. And our second black and white canvas of the case is Cole Perfetti. And here is a high gloss Pat Maroon. Wow, high glosses are always exciting to open. You know what? Pat Maroon has had quite a career. Not the worst possible player you could open in a high gloss, but obviously I can think of some names that would be a little more exciting. Sam Reinhardt, Seeing Red, and Cole Caulfield Beehive. Let's just go back to that high gloss for one second, take a closer look. They are nice and shiny. Uh, some would even say high gloss. 10 of 10. Not often you see one, so even when it is just a base card of a veteran who's winding down his career. They're fun to find. We've got... A Connor Bedard UD3. Matt Savoy. First round draft pick. Ooh, and our last young gun canvas probably is a Uvis Balinskis. So no love on the Connor Bedard young gun canvas front. Here is our hockey heroes, Keith Kachuk. We have a Jamie Drysdale Blue Dazzler. And another Zach Benson Beehive. All right. Box one out of the way. All right. So we are down to three young guns and two first round draft picks. We've got a black diamond, David Perron. Uh, hmm. Pavel Minchikov, Young Gun Retro. And an Alex Kalorn canvas. We've got Silver Skates. Jack Hughes. Did these go over here? Here's our first outburst for uh, this. Box. I guess our only outburst for this box. Tyler Bucuzzi. And then an Andre Pavel. That's another duplicate young gun. See if we can get the complete set here. That'd be nice. It's always a pain when you buy a case and don't find it. I think it's only ever happened to me one time, but... Definitely talked to lots of other people who have had that experience. I think this is our first ever uh, parallel of the hollow view, and it's Nikita Kucherov. Looks like it's numbered to 50. That's fun. We got a seeing red Braden Point. 
and an Eric Carlson Beehive. We got a UD3 of Dustin Wolf. Matthew Coronado, first round draft pick. And an Elias Pettersson canvas. Skills. Got a hollow, let's make sure that wasn't a first round draft pick. We got a hollow view of Robert Thomas, Dylan Larkin retro, and another black and white canvas is Ryan Reeves base. We got a UD3 of Marilinen. Got a seeing red Brad Marchand and a Dennis Hittleby. That is another dupe going all the way back to the first video in this series. All right, last half of box number two. Haven't made any progress on our missing young guns. We've got a black diamond Luke Evangelista. We've got a Matthew Nye's Beehive and a Michael Bunting canvas. Silver Skates, captain of the Vegas Golden Knights, Mark Stone. Got a Johnny Goudreau hollow view and then a Yaniv Peretz. That's another duplicate young gun. Here's another seeing red. It's Phil Esposito though, and it is a silver parallel. And yep, four for four on the two seeing reds in the same pack. Thomas Hurdle is the base. And then we have a Artemi Panarin Beehive. There's a silver skate. Connor Bedard. Emil Heineman was not one of the young guns we're missing. So I'm guessing the last one is going to be a first round draft pick. So maybe at least be a Connor Bedard for me. Andre Kuzmenko canvas. Here's our hockey hero. It's Elias Pettersson. Alex Newhook, Dazzler, and a Will Cooley Young Gun Retro. All right, last pack for box number two. Come on, Connor Bedard, first round draft pick. I do see a first round draft pick there for sure. So let's just hope it's the right guy. We got... Simon Edmondson, UD3. Mario Lemieux seeing red. I like that. And then... Oh, Simon Edmondson. And that's unfortunate because coming into this video, I did need Simon Edmondson, but I've actually already opened that in the first box. So... No help there. All right, everyone. Last box. Let's get that out of here.
All right, so I still need five young guns and first round draft picks, and we're only going to get six in this box. So we're really going to be hoping for the coalition sequence to be sorted here in this last one. Starting off with a UD3. Uh, eh? Oh, Tristan Luno. That's interesting. It's uh, been fairly high caliber ro rookies in that UD3 line. And then Tristan Luno. We got Ryan Johnson, who is not one of the ones I need. And we only had an error margin of one. Alexander Barkov, canvas. So now we got to run perfect for the rest of this box. We got Sammy Blaze base. We got an Adam Fantilli special forces like that one. And a Ryan O'Reilly Blue Dazzler, Alex Laferriere Young Gun Retro. Oh, we got a Young Gun in here. So we're going to find out right now if we're still alive or if the dream has ended. This person. Alex Ovechkin Silver Skates. And is that Carter Rahegi? Yes. Seeing red. So Young Gun. Oh, good news. Ryan Winterton is one of the ones I was missing. So the dream is still alive. So now two young guns and two first round draft picks. Tyson Forrester is the other first round draft pick aside from Connor Bedard. And then we're missing Clang and Pospisil for the young guns. Oh, here's another population count. It's to a thousand again. Troy Terry. We got Nico Heischer seeing red. And a David Pasternak retro base. We got an Adam Fantilli black diamond. Alex Ovechkin beehive. A William Carlson canvas. We've got Jackson Lacombe. UD3, Connor Bedard, Hollow View. And there we go. Whew. Pressure is off now. There is our Connor Bedard first round draft pick. Uh, I definitely still want to run the gamut and get all of the young guns here, but that would have been the one that would have sucked the most to miss for sure. Six packs to go. We've got Matt Murray, UD3, a Alex Tuck, seeing red, and there you go, Tyson Forrester, first round draft pick. So we're good on all the first round draft picks at this point. I am wondering now, I don't, I haven't been paying enough attention uh, I'm used to the first round draft picks being these kind of boring, just blackout 
backgrounds, and I noticed Connor Bedard's has his locker room uh, behind it. Did they do that just for Bedard, or have there been other first round draft picks that I didn't notice that are? Uh... Let's take. A... I got a pile right here. Let's just take a quick peek. Oh no, okay, not just Bedard. I have a bunch of them though. I wonder. I wonder how they decide. Anyway, back to the packs. So, Clang and Pospisil. That's what we're looking for now. On top of any, you know, spectacular inserts. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Black Diamond. We got the Kucherov Retro and a Brock Nelson canvas. Got our last out box or outburst rather of the uh, case. I guess it won't likely be a young gun. No, it's Tyler Toffoli. And then a Riker Evans young gun kills the dream. That means we can no longer uh, catch our two missing young guns. Now, there was the one box uh, where we were short a young gun. So it's not impossible that we'll have an extra young gun in this box. And it's also not impossible that the one we were missing from that box uh, was one of these two guys that we haven't opened here. Oh, here's something that we haven't seen in the entire case. The NHL Specialists, and it is our captain, Brady Kachuk. That must be some super short printed insert. And just a Tage Thompson seeing red. And another beehive is Will Cooley. Two packs to go. Here we have Leon Dreisaitl, Silver Skates. And there is Clang. So just missing Pospisil. Patrick Kane, UD Canvas. At the end of the day, if that's where we finish, that's not too bad. But it would suck a lot more if the one guy we were missing was Adam Fantilli or Logan Cooley. Or the first round draft pick, Connor Bedard. So I like to, I like to see them come out clean because it makes me worry less the next time. Last pack though, we could still be surprised with the seventh young gun. Uh, we got a Yaroslav Askarov, all of you. Walker Dewar, young gun retro. And a black and white canvas, young gun canvas of Joel Teasdale. Wouldn't that have been the way to end this case if that had been, for example, Connor Bernard? <laughs> All right, everyone. So that is our case. I'm going to do a little quick organization here and come back with a little uh, wrap up for you. Okay, so in summary, for our case, we have the entire set of Young Guns and first round draft picks minus one card, which is Pospisil, one of the Young Guns. Then we have 24 duplicate Young Guns and first round draft picks. We have 12 Blue Dazzlers, one for each box. And then two Pink Dazzlers, Granlin and Barbashev, for the case. We got 10 base outburst for our acetates we have nine hockey heroes we have three just base clear cuts three of these special forces including a rookie adam fantilli 
and two population counts, both to 1,000, Troy Derry and Tyson Forrester. We have three regular black and white canvas. These holographics, we have two gold and two red. Including Matthew Nyes in both, I just noticed. Wait, Minchikoff. Minchikoff and Nyes in both. Didn't notice that as we were opening them. We've got this one NHL specialist, Brady Kachuk. Three deluxe base parallels numbered to 250. One exclusive base, John Marino, numbered to 100. And one high gloss, Pat Maroon, numbered 10 out of 10. And then for rookie parallels, we have our six young gun canvas. We have one black and white young gun canvas. Two outbursts, one a first round draft pick, Leo Carlson, and one a Sam Malinsky. We have the Connor Bedard young gun retro, along with a pile of other young gun retros that I just didn't include because they're not as exciting. We have one clear-cut Young Gun, it's Linus Carlson, and one Deluxe Young Gun, which is also Sam Malinsky. So there you have it. That was our whole case. That's what you should expect uh, if you're deciding to do this yourself. Um, and it's going to be a while before I open another case, probably. should probably be until Series 1, 24, 25, which will hopefully be reduced in price by then. All right, everyone, if you like this video, if you enjoy seeing hockey cards open before you decide whether or not to spend your own money on them, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be back soon with whatever's out next. And until then, thanks for watching.